Sea fishing again this week, this time much further south. It was a three hour drive and quite a long walk and then a climb down the cliff to get to this mark. We arrived at low water and fished until about an hour after high tide. I caught a really good fish in the first half an hour or so and then most of the, the better fish came in the last hour of the tide coming in. We had a few different rods with us, so we, we had a few different options. Bait on the bottom and with the float was really successful and we, we only had one small pollock on the lure. For bait, I had prawns and some mackerel with me and both baits caught both species. I prefer prawn though because it's less stinky and it's, it's easier to get to stay on the hook without elastic. Little bikes. Oh, that's a little rass. Beautiful. I'll just get him unhooked. Stunning wee fish. Just get him back. It was great to catch the target species after only about 10 minutes. Away he goes. Better fish. Much better fish. Oh, brilliant. Look at that. That's exactly what I was trying to catch last week. Just get them unhooked and give you a better look. There we go. That's what I was trying for last week and didn't manage to catch. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the blue in the tail. Absolutely stunning. I'll get them back. Boom, straight away. Superb. That's just what I wanted to catch as well. Get back down and get another one. We had a visit from a seal again. I didn't see him eating anything this time. But it is a sign that you're in an area with lots of fish. He popped his head up a few times but he never really came close enough to make us think he might steal our fish. Gonna try just dropping it right in, right in at the edge here. I didn't have any luck on the bottom here, but later on in the day, when we had the float set up, we caught a lot of fish just a couple of feet out from the cliff. It's always worth trying really close in when you've got deep water right in front of you. Most of the fish were caught from within about two metres out from the rocks on screen now. We did try fishing a bit further out and a couple of other areas. We had one small pollock from this area. We could easily have set up 20 yards further along there and we might not have had such a great day fishing. Go I didn't see what it was. Just lost a really good fish on the float. Another wee rash this time on the float. This is much smaller than the, the one I just lost a wee minute ago. We had the baits about eight feet below the floats.
Nice wee fish though. I was fishing with this rod just a couple of metres off from where the waves are breaking on the rocks there. I'm fishing with the floats much closer in. And if you're wondering why there's two floats on each line, it was purely for casting distance because we only had little tiny floats with us. It wouldn't have mattered really though because we soon figured out we were catching all the fish just a couple of feet from the edge. Oh! Pollock! Quality! Let's get it unhooked. Bit bigger than the ones last week. Nice fish. We didn't catch any pollock for the first half of the day, but once we caught one, they just kept coming. Unfortunately, I mess up the recording a couple of times in the excitement and uh, I think I'm hitting record when I'm actually hitting stop because I didn't realise it was already recording. Oh. oh, I wasn't recording! No way! Just caught an absolute belt of the Apollo. I'll get it unhooked and give you a good look. Oh, I can't believe that wasn't recording. <laughs> a great fish that. That came on a, a bit of mackerel fished on the bottom. I, I thought it was recording, I must have hit the wrong button. Nightmare. Oh well. Oh, another pollock. Well, well done, mate. There's Lana. Being well behaved. She's getting rewarded with sausages every so often. We're being so good and sitting up there. Away, I can't believe we weren't recording again there. We got all tangled up, all three rods tangled, but we got this this pollock in. Well, he's got one on the lure. That's like the ones last week. Uh, we're just coming across the face there. Another rass. That's the Isle of Man you can see out there on the horizon. 
just to give you an idea how far south we are. Sean. With a little rest. Nice pull it. Oh. That's a belt of that one. This is the last fish we caught. We kept getting bites right up until when we ran out of bait. But I'll, uh, I'll include the very last cast with the last bit of bait just because we got such a beautiful sunset. It was a, a great way to end a great day's fishing. It was really good to catch some wrasse and uh, the second one was a, a decent size. The, the pollock were brilliant as well. It's one of the best days fishing I've had in a while and I really hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.